Today we're gonna to be recreating cars I see in real life inside of Driving Empire. Then we're gonna test them all at the end to see which one's the best. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe and drop a link in this video. Above without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, we're at the car meet now, and we have this Audi right here. Now this Audi is the first car we'll be recreating. So this one is in white right here. You can see the white paint. Let's go ahead and check out the spec in more detail. So we can see it's an R8. We got the carbon fiber details right here. We have to copy these wheels in black with the red calipers. We'll make sure we do that. V10, of course, we gotta make sure you know it's a V10 engine in the game. The carbon spoiler right here, and that is all that we have to do with this car. So let's go ahead and recreate it now. Okay, so the first car we need to recreate is an Audi R8, but there's a little problem. We don't have that exact R8 in game, but we do have this R8, which is very similar. It's just like one trim class higher, so we can try to make it look like the R8 we saw. So I know it was white. I believe it had black interior, so we got black interior good. We had red calipers on it, um, and then I had this different wheel design than like the wheels that we have on um they kind of looked like that those wheels look really close to it so i think we got the car pretty locked in but we do need to do one thing and that is to put florida license plates on it because of course it's a florida car so let's go ahead and throw on the florida license plates right now okay so check it out you know it looks pretty close to the real life one we had the white paint the black wheels the red calipers the carbon spoiler the v10 engine of course um, so I think we did a pretty good job of replicating it. We also got the Florida license plates. Um, but let's go ahead now and see, you know, the performance on this Audi before we do our next car because we'll be comparing them to see which one turns out to be the better car in the end. So, looks like this Audi's performance, let's see, we're gonna have a top speed of 250 miles per hour without boost, with boost. 280 miles per hour okay so we're gonna have to remember that okay we're also gonna be doing the cross country race since this is the best race to determine you know how cars handle on turns and in a straight line as well so i think it's like the best all-round race so we're gonna take all the cars around here um so far let's see the audi's in the turning segment at the moment um honestly this thing handles really really good on i don't know you know it's gonna be hard to find a car to beat this audi right here um Wow, I'm actually really impressed with this car. Holy. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this race real quick. Ooh, we've crashed the Audi on the race. I kind of, like, got a little bit loose back there. And now the car's just, like, all messed up. We flipped and stuff. But, um, we're going to recover. Don't worry, guys. We'll recover this. Okay, and we finished in three minutes, five seconds. That's a new personal best for me. That's pretty good. Um, but let's go ahead and see what car we're gonna be doing next. Okay, next up we have this Porsche right here. We're gonna be copying this spec next. We got this silverish gray paint and black wheels. Pretty simple to copy, I feel like. Interior looks to be black on this car. I don't think it'll be too hard, so let's go switch into the game now and see if we can recreate it. Okay, so the next car I believe is gonna be this Porsche right here. Now, we don't have the exact Porsche in game, but this thing is really close. Um, I believe it's just like the turbo model, so we're gonna want, um, I think we want normal paint, so probably like matte, I guess that'll kind of make it look normal, um, and then we want like a color like maybe like 175, um, is that too light? I don't know, I can't exactly remember the color, I think it was like a, something similar to this, let me try a bit, um, darker than that, maybe like 150, something like that, might have been really close to it, um, and then I don't think it had any different calipers. I think they were just like black, so we'll switch these into black. Um, for wheels, it had like the default Porsche wheels. Um, I guess they look kind of like this, um, but not really. Um, so honestly, closest wheels would probably be... Um, Alright, I've thrown on the wheels now and a Florida plate. We got the Florida license plate, the silverish white paint, and the new wheels that look like the ones we saw in real life. Um, I would say this is a pretty close spec to the one that we saw. I think I did a pretty good job, so... Let's go ahead now and do those same tests. Okay, so now testing the top speed on the Porsche. This thing can go 238 without boost, with boost, 267. So top speed's already slower than the Audi, but maybe it'll be better on the cross country race. Let's go ahead and see. All right, now we're on the circuit race. Let's go ahead and get to that part where we test the turning and see how well this Porsche can turn. We're at the handling part right now. Um, Let's go ahead and see. Um, I don't know if it turns as good as the Audi did. I mean, the Audi was really nice with the handling. Um. Yeah, no, this Porsche definitely isn't as nice as the Audi, but let's go ahead and do this race. I might have to wait and see, you know, how it does overall on the race. We'll see. Terrible crash in the Porsche in the same spot we crashed the Audi and Oh my God, we're going downhill. Oh. 
All right, and the Porsche finished in a much worse time. We actually finished, wow, 14 seconds slower, but three minutes, 19 seconds. Um, so clearly the Audi is winning so far in this challenge. Okay, and for the final car we're gonna be recreating is this McLaren 600 LT here. Very beautiful spec. We got red paint, black wheels, black calipers, and red seat belts on it, black interior. Um, we gotta note there's some carbon fiber details there. We got the spoiler, um, more carbon fiber around back, exhaust tips here. Should be pretty simple to recreate, so let's hop in game and do it. Okay, next up we have the McLaren. Now, I actually think we're gonna have to remove a lot of options from this car, because in game I have this thing fully loaded, but um, in real life that car, was not fully loaded it's still really cool though so let's go ahead and um i think we actually need the dark roof yeah that's the one that they had in real life okay um and then i remember the interior okay wait no we need to switch the seats um i think they were mm, they might have been i think they were those seats in black so let's switch those and the interior was um black it was uh suede so we need alcantara yep black that was the real life interior then it had like a red paint. It might've been like this red, I believe. Um, And then I think it had red caliper. Wait, the calipers might've been black. Let me check. Okay, yeah, the calipers were black and then it had different rims. So let's go ahead and put those rims on and then the color was like zero. So it'll be like black like that. Um, And then it had carbon fiber in the rear. Um, I think the rest is accurate. We do need our Florida license plate though. So let's go to the US and scroll and Florida right there, boom. We got the Florida plates on this thing. That is the real life spec we saw right there. This is beautiful, by the way. So let's go ahead and test it out now. Okay, let's test the top speed on the McLaren now. I don't think it'll be as fast as the Audi. I'm just gonna put in that prediction. Um, We're already going 244 without boost, with boost. 273, so it's actually slower than the Audi, wow. Um, that's kind of unfortunate, but it is faster than the Porsche, but let's go ahead and see can we beat um, its time on the cross country. All right, we're on the cross country race in the McLaren now. I don't know if it'll honestly be able to get a better time than the Audi. I mean, the top speed's slower, um, but I mean, it's not all about top speed on this race, but the McLaren, um, it kind of loses the rear end a little bit easy in this car. It can easily slip out from under you, slide out, so you gotta be careful, but um, handling, honestly, Audi is still winning in this challenge. I was surprised. I thought the McLaren would um, do better, but uh, whoa. Yeah, that was not good right there. You saw that. Um, it's definitely not handling the best, I'll say that, but let's go ahead and lock in on this race. All right, this McLaren sucks. I'll be for real, guys. It like loses the rear end so easily, and it doesn't like turn very well at all. So like, it caused me to crash right there. Um, honestly, kind of disappointed with this car. I'll, I'll be for real. I was expecting better, but this is doing worse than the Porsche. This thing just like doesn't turn. Like, I go to turn it, and it's not turning like the normal cars were. Like, every other car has turned normally, except for this one. Like, it either turns too little or loses the rear end if you turn it a little too much. So it's hard to like handle it. Like you can see it's really not wanting to turn and then when I get it turning, it like starts to slide out just like that. Ooh, and we've just crashed it again. I just, I can't with this car's handling. Um, This is gonna get the worst time on the cross country race. I'm already telling you that. Um, But yeah, I mean, I guess for top speed, the Audi wins. And for the track, or not the track time, my bad, the cross country time, the Audi also won. Um, the McLaren came in last for the cross country, but second for top speed, and then Porsche came in last for top speed, second for cross country. Um, but there you have it. Um, I remade cars I saw in real life inside of Driving Empire and then retested them out to see which one was better. I truly hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. I truly appreciate it. Subscribe and the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Check out the video on screen here. YouTube links to like, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.